Vitamin D deficiency is now recognized to be a major human epidemic. In 2006, the UK government published a report entitled Sunlight, Vitamin D and Health that concluded the following. Six out of ten adults of working age in the UK and probably in other European countries too are at risk of chronic disease because they do not get enough vitamin D. There is increasing evidence that such vitamin D deficiency is a major contributing factor to many of the major human diseases, such as asthma, Alzheimer's disease, cardiovascular disease, hypertension, Parkinson's disease, schizophrenia, etc. While the evidence for such an association is strong, there is little information on why normal vitamin D levels are so important to maintain human health. Now recently, I have developed a hypothesis, a phenotypic stability hypothesis, that sets out to explain how vitamin D may act to maintain normal cellular functions. Now when cells differentiate during development, they select out those components of their signaling toolkits to assemble specific signaling systems, such as the calcium and redox signaling systems. For normal cellular responses, it's essential that the gene transcription of the components that make up the calcium and redox signaling phenotypes are maintained. And it seems that vitamin D, working together with NFR2 and Clotho, is the major custodian of such phenotypic stability. Now, in order to carry out this phenotypic stability, vitamin D binds to the vitamin D receptor, VDR which interacts with the retinoid X receptor, RXR, before binding to the vitamin D response element, VDRE, located on a large number of vitamin D sensitive target genes. Vitamin D controls the expression of NFR2, which is also an important regulator of multiple signaling systems. Now, many of the vitamin D sensitive genes function to maintain calcium and redox homeostasis. For example, it increases the expression of calcium pumps, exchanges and buffers to maintain low levels of calcium. Now similarly, vitamin D, clotho and NFR2 all increase cellular antioxidants to maintain the normal reducing environment within the cell. Now, in keeping with its proposed role in phenotypic stability, vitamin D controls the epigenetic landscape of its gene promoters to maintain the transcriptional activity of all of the genes that operate in its regulatory network. Vitamin D controls both the acetylation and methylation states of its promoter regions. The VDR also recruits histone acetylases such as P300 and SRC1 that acetylate chromatin and increases the expression of a number of DNA demethylases. Now during vitamin D deficiency, there is a decline in these calcium and redox homeostatic mechanisms resulting in phenotypic instability and the onset of the abnormal cellular responses that are responsible for many human diseases. Now the basic idea is that vitamin D is a major custodian of phenotypic stability and this is particularly relevant to the calcium and redox signaling systems that are central players in many of these diseases. It is clear to me that the medical community should be more aware of the importance of vitamin D because I am firmly convinced that maintaining normal levels of this critical hormone would markedly reduce the development of many of the major human diseases.